Hello and happy Tuesday from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com, where the state of our union is in a state of flux. I said a state of flux. Okay, so here we go with this annual childish antics bowl. The State of the Union address and the reaction to it won't have anything to do with the content of the speech. It'll just have to do with whose mouth it's coming out of because that's how we are these days, blindly tribal. I tend to be a pragmatist. There was some polling data that was released yesterday that indicates that fully two thirds of the American population thinks that Joe Biden really hasn't accomplished much in his time in office. Here's my pragmatic take on that. Whether that's true or whether that's false is largely irrelevant because here's a situation where perception is reality. The other thing that polling data reveals conclusively is that we have enormous Biden and Trump fatigue in this country, and that it's time to reset, and it's time to move away from that. I've said a couple of times that the best thing that could ever happen to this country right now would be if neither Joe Biden nor Donald Trump was president on January 20th, 2025. We're gonna have to reset to move on. The truth is, whether it's valid or not, there's no deep-seated, passionate support for Joe Biden. And the only people who remain passionate about Donald Trump are nut jobs. Yeah, I'll say that again. The only people who remain passionate about supporting Donald Trump are nut jobs, and our entire national problem right now is nut jobs. It's time to move on from nut jobs. Super Bowl 57. Hmm. In analyzing this one, there's one thing I can't get past, can't get away from, and that is the Philadelphia Eagles pass rush. Whether you realize it or not, you could make a pretty strong case that that's the best pass rush in the history of the National Football League. And yes, I am aware of the 85 Bears. And yes, I am aware of the 2000 Baltimore Ravens. That may be the best pass rush in the history of the league. And if you think Patrick Mahomes is just going to instantly be well after two weeks following that high ankle sprain, that's just not the way this works. He's going to have some restricted mobility still. And it's not like the Chiefs have an enormous running game to take the pressure off Mahomes. So I'm making a pick right now? No. You're going to have to wait till Friday at least or maybe Saturday. Football's always great, but it's better when it's personal. Of course it is. Football's better when it's personal. So Nick Sirianni, the head coach of the Eagles, admits that he harbors a little bit of resentment toward Andy Reid. All right, back in 2012, when Big Red, Andy, became coach of the Chiefs, um, Sirianni was already on the Kansas City staff as a wide receivers coach, and Reed did not retain him. It wasn't personal. He just didn't retain him. Head coach wants his guys. I get that. Sirianni admits that he resents it. Look, we're all human, and we've all got stories like that. I just don't see any upside to saying that publicly. I'll leave you with this question and we'll pick up on it on Wednesday morning, even as we do a post-mortem on the State of the Union address. Which team has a player or a group of players who's going to do something stupid between now and Sunday? Because you know it's going to happen. Why? Because you and I both are radically rational.